Okay, this farm name at present. At present means we live at the present moment. And actually, the farm is like we try to build the great future. So it means under the at present farm, we do the great future project for the kids, for the old people, and for, for the disabilities. Let them have the more careers, like, like you mean, you mean more income, uh, and also like how to make them they can live, especially the kids, how to live with our parents. You how to how to be like survive in this world like by cooking, by working, by planting, yeah. So like we build the, the, the we build at the present moment for their future. So I'm the like coach trainer like all over the world like many countries. So after that I I want to give back for the social. Before it's like it's a very bad land. Yeah, it's really bad land. It's dirty. It's no even the bin. So uh, all the mud and the dip, you know, because of uh, all of them is uh, like a uh, farmers. Yeah, so they have uh, many uh, many dip, and I see the children, the nephew and the niece, right? Is uh, like they cannot go to school. They don't have uh, enough money to you know live each day. So that means I'm thinking about why why that is like like. Why, what is the problem? What is the real problem? So I'm discussed with the disability team and we agree that we should be like a volunteer teacher here to develop and build everything like plan for the future. Plan everything here and we can earn the money. Even the water lily, the lotus, because of the life field, we cannot turn anything back to other things. We don't have enough soil to do anything. So from the rice paddy field, we just make put the water, the, the lotus or the water lily. We ask the donors, we ask the donation. I just launched the program, like we beg for the water lily. Yeah, so we plant the water lily and we learn how to like make it more and more. Yeah, so that's why right now we have income from the big water lily garden that uh, they come to buy us the loot or the leaf, yeah, or the pot. We opened the farm on May 6, May the 6. I came here last March for like training the kids first and training the grandma and think about what we can do, what we have. Yeah, we have mini lemon grass, we have mini pendant, we have some kind of like a butterfly pea that you, you, are, yeah, you know, that you know, right? So that we try to make a food and we try to make a drink. And now, uh, oh, we have banana as well. Banana, all of these things that I told you that we don't need to buy. We just can expand by the leaf. And uh, so we have, we, it grow more and we can sell many, many things like homemade. I feel so blessed that uh, once I do this like little by little and uh, like a good friends and good like customer or my student or around the world like see that and they just like help like for donate a little little money and some like uh, help the children go to school that is the first thing that I feel like when you everyone come here they feel love and they feel a lot of like hearts right because of uh, I think like we have a lot of hearts all over the world help First thing that I would like to send the kids back to school. Yeah. Second thing that I would like they have the daily like school money, little money, like one dollar or two dollar to school. That what I really wish that for this one year. So it's mean four hundred fifty days that we count. Uh, now we earn a little income. Now we earn like mean like sixty fifty dollar or seventy dollar a month for whole farm. But but what the kids or the grandma work is go directly to their pocket. So that's why now I feel like I'm first thing that I reach my goal that they have their money for school. Like for one dollar each, that is more than enough for them right now. But they work. So what we want to do, we want like half day program or full day program to let like I mean, the children or even adults or foreigners want to learn how to cook simple thing uh, Thai food traditional Thai that's one thing and learn how to like make the drawing painting everything that I want to put in the activity in the program that is related on the mindfulness mindfulness program like I, I, I named the, my program of like wisdom light mindfulness 
So it means they will practice, enjoy the nature, enjoy the windy, enjoy everything like the bird sound, everything and breathe the nature thing. I learned how to how to train the kids and the kid is learned very fast. You know the children. So my farm like welcome the people like mean our students, newcomers like from age four. You know, if they want to attend the class from age four to 104. And one thing that uh, we can make the place is like just the grace area that you want to away from, you know, the center, the public, the social life. Yeah, you can come here and you can like, you know, breathe at the nature. That's what I, I would wish to be. We would like to expand all our knowledge to help all the poor people. And I would wish that this idea will be the sample like, for the poor like death of the farmer all over the world. It's more than one year that I involved like 90% or maybe more than that in my life. Why? Because of, okay, if I jump around, I don't think that I can focus well. And everything that we don't have any landscape, our labor, our worker is me, this really, or the children, or the grandmothers, the grandfathers. So that's why they need me. They, they don't have any technology, they don't have internet, I don't know either, so it means I'm the cat walker, you know, I'm on the magazine, I'm in the many interviews. Uh, I have to leave everything behind. Okay, I'm thinking only like when my soul like, you know, away, so I mean all around. I, you know, I always feel like even tomorrow I die, I will die with a smiley face. Because of, I feel like when I change the disability life, uh, I change the children life, I change the grandma life, I feel so blessed. That is the true happiness, the true, the, the huge profit that I have before. I can say that uh, every money that I work from the past, I put in this farm. Not much, but I put like one by, step by step. I do everything from my like, from my heart, the way I design, the technique. I think like, uh, I don't know, like I know only I never give up. I never give up. I know that many people will away give up because of it's a big, huge job to do everything. But for me, I have, I always say that I have two small hands, but I have big heart. Thank you for allowing, allowing me to do the good deeds, the good merits, like I feel like that.